Welcome back everyone and I'm so glad that you have joined me today. I'm really hoping you're all doing great. So thank you for being here. Uh, yesterday was the trooping of color in the UK and we've already discussed some of the things that happened during that event. And I believe the biggest of them all was the appearance of Kate Middleton, right? Because that is the thing that was talked about the most. Kate had not been seen for six months prior to this event. So when she appeared, people talked a lot. And the reason for her not being seen in the public, as stated by Kensington Palace, is that she was undergoing preventive chemotherapy, right? But uh, in my own point of view, she doesn't look like someone who's suffering from cancer. She looks very healthy. And maybe, just maybe, this cancer story was used as a distraction from what was actually going on uh, behind those palace walls. Because even at the event, William and Kate could not look at each other. Their facial expressions just told it all. And what about the mark or the scar that Kate has above her eyes? What is that about? Kensington, uh, Kensington Palace was saying how that is scar from her childhood. But the scar from her childhood is right above her ear. So I don't believe this is from her childhood as Kate didn't have this before. And I said, and I'll say it again, I believe this was something to do with Kate and William's marriage. Well, I don't wish them bad, but it just seems that way. And the thing that was most disturbing is the way that the Telegraph actually reported about Kate coming back. So Alison Pearson wrote an article for the Telegraph titling it, Fair Lady, Princess of Wales' selfless display was the tonic that Britain needed. And then she captioned the article on her ex page, or rather on the Telegraph Royal Family page, saying, When lesser mortals would have stayed at home, Catherine proved that the show goes on. And this is just so vile. This is so bad. What do you mean you're calling other people who are suffering from cancer lesser mortals? Did she actually have to compare other people who are suffering from cancer to Kate Middleton? That is, if she actually has cancer? Because remember, these other people who she's calling lesser mortals don't have the same privileges as Kate Middleton. She is a member of the royal family. These other people have to work hard to even pay those hospital bills. So to now refer to them as lesser mortals is actually the worst thing ever. I'm sure there are so many people out there who are suffering from cancer but still have to be strong for their families. They still have to go to work each and every single day. They still have to go for those hospital appointments. They still have to take care of their children. They still have to take care of their spouses. And that is just a life. And you don't get to compare them with the experiences of Kat Middleton. It just doesn't work that way. And of course... Alison Pearson got a lot of criticism for this article. People just can't understand how the UK media works. How do you call yourself a journalist and go right ahead to write such an article? And the most um, bizarre thing is, despite everything that people said after this article was published, is she never took it down neither did she uh, did she change the article's name this is so bad i can't even uh, start to imagine what such people think when they're writing these articles and people just had so many comments about this story even dr shola commented and this was her say Lesser mortals, I would take thousands of Brits who don't have the luxury not to show up to work but do in spite of their cancer and those who stay home because of it over and above Catherine, Princess of Wales, anytime, any day. 
thousands of British cancer patients suffer long NHS waiting lists, health discrimination, die without treatment, have zero financial stroke moral, stroke social support, but Kate Middleton shows up one day epitomizing every advantage systematically denied others with cancer and is the tonic Britain needed? Dis uh, disrespectfully piss off. The only lesser mortals here are Alison Pearson and the editor who approved this offensive diatribe to be published. Exactly like Dr. Shola is always on point. There's so many people out there who have cancer and are going through so much. And that doesn't make them lesser mortals. Just because Kate has got all these privileges doesn't make her a better person than all of these other people who are suffering from cancer. You know, Alison Pearson should be ashamed of herself. And remember, Kate Middleton had not been seen for six months. So whether she was undergoing chemotherapy or not, uh, these people do should not compare her with other people who are fighting cancer every single day. And yes, as Dr. Shola said, I would also choose these other very brave Brits that are choosing to go to work despite them not having uh, the, the strength to do so over Kate Middleton each and every single day. And another person was like, most cancer sufferers in the UK don't have the benefit of 24-7 elite-grade private health care, micro microbiotic shafts, a vast retinue of genuflatic pillow fluffers and ha a husband who's worth half a billion. And yet, you slyly refer to them as lesser mortals? Exactly, like the privileges that Kate Middleton has, most people don't have that. So referring them to as a lesser lesser mortals is just the the dumbest thing that I've actually ever had. And another person was like at Alison Pearson, lesser mortals does she really or does she really had or have cancer? No, I don't believe she ever had cancer. I also don't know if this woman has have ever had cancer because if she had, then she'd know the struggles of normal people just to go through every day. And another person was like, she's cancer scamming the public and should be rightedly called out. Real moms suffer cancer, go to work and raise families. Stop gaslighting real cancer victims, shameful, lazy cat pretending to have a nameless cancer. And then another person was uh, saying she was wheeled out to stop the rumors. Oh, and a clue for the somewhat deluded telegraph, she is a mere mortal like the rest of us. The only difference is she married to the money. She married into money. She is a no better being than anyone else currently going through cancer treatment. Exactly. And another person was like, lesser mortals, what a shocking thing to write. There are people battling cancer every day who have to, you know, actually work instead of being wheeled out in a frock for column inches. This is a slap in the face for lesser mortals all across the nation. Shame on you. Indeed, shame on you, Alison Pearson. Because it seems like she just woke up and wrote this article without thinking twice. What do you mean you're calling other people lesser mortals? And another person, no one wishes her to suffer and I'm sure all are hoping for her quick recovery. But using the words lesser mortals just makes you sound exactly what you are. A massive out of touch twat. You know what? That is exactly what Alison Pearson is. This just proves that the UK media write articles for the sake of it. All they care about is propping up the other members of the royal family and they don't care about what they say concerning other people, be it the public, be it the Sussexes, like they just don't care how it's going to look upon uh, 
on other people as long as they've made members of the royal family look like super gods, which is crazy to think. And Alison Pearson should really be ashamed of herself for this uh, for writing this article and not even caring to correct after she was called out. So that is just my opinion for today. What do you think about this? Isn't this the most shameful thing that anyone can say? Well, let me know what you think and then I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful and amazing time. Goodbye.